Hi, my name is Dr. Matt. It's good to see you this evening. Please do take a seat and get comfortable. We will be together for quite some time tonight. Uh, full physical examination when done properly is entirely comprehensive and it provides us with a fairly accurate gauge as to where you are physically and even mentally in some cases. Now, before we move any further, I'd like you to, speaking honestly, if you could just tell me on a scale of maybe one to ten, how you think you are feeling physically. Just uh, sterilizing my hands. And uh, I mean, all things considered, in a physical examination, we're testing the primary senses, uh, a little bit of your memory as well, and motor nerves, and just on a scale of, of one to ten, one being uh, you felt like you had to crawl. And being, uh, you felt like you floated on a cloud. Okay. I'm not going to read too much into to that. It's really just a, a gauge for where you think you are. And then we can baseline that against your actual results. All right. Now I'm just going to pop on my gloves. Uh, when we finalize today, I'd like to give you uh, a vitamin C shot just to kind of make sure your uh, immune levels are, are as healthy and as boosted as they can possibly be. I myself am quite guilty for skipping on my five pieces of fruit once a week. It should be five a day. Uh, if I make five a week, I am celebrating. So I like to practice what I preach. And if I can't practice it, I'm not gonna sit here and lecture my patients, okay? It is important to get your fruit and veg. Um, sometimes we, we live quite a hectic life and these booster shots, vitamin C in this case, uh, is a nice to have, okay? So, I would like you to relax. And a lot of people find physical examinations really quite relaxing I myself uh, don't necessarily share the same sunny optimism and enthusiasm for them since I'm performing them every day but I absolutely understand and promote their usefulness and I guess a, a general assessment of where we are. Okay, we're good. Now, if you remember, and this isn't part one of the test, but if you remember, I mentioned um, doing a quick assessment on your memory and uh, your short-term memory. An ability to recall information. Now, I'd like to put you at ease because some people feel a little bit on edge the moment we think we're going to be tested or marked up or down in some way. So, I actually scored zero of three in my last memory assessment as part of physical examination. No immediate conclusions can be drawn from these. We all have off days. We all have times when we're feeling uh, our mind is perhaps elsewhere. Okay, but I'm going to give you three words. Okay, three words. Specifically, it's three ASMR creators. And I'd like you to recite them at the end of the examination. If you remember all three, your assessment today will be entirely free of charge. If you get zero of three, I regret to inform you it will be entirely
entirely free of charge. Okay. First name. GB ASMR. Could you repeat that? Good. Sidegeist ASMR. It's actually ASMR sidegeist, but okay. Try and commit them to memory. Okay, GB, Zeitgeist, Crinkle. Good. Okay. Now we just have to not think about it too much. Don't try replaying the names in your head. Let it go. And we'll test that ability to recall at the end of the assessment. All right? Good. Now, first thing I'd like to get started with going to pop in the stethoscope and it's like a little listen to the heart and the lungs just pop your top button for me please is perfectly fine. No abnormalities, no arrhythmia, perfectly healthy heart. When you took the stairs up to my office, um, how did you find your breathing? When you got to the top of the stairs, was it labored? Did you find yourself short of breath or? No more than usual. Okay, that's good. Fine, I'm just gonna listen to your lungs. And again, just breathing naturally to begin with, please. Okay. And again, fill your lungs in through your nose. And hold. And release. And again. Hold. Release. And just one more time, please. Hold. Very good, very good. Now just continue to breathe normally. All right. Nothing untoward. Lungs sound perfectly healthy. Okay, good. Nothing unusual abnormal. Have you ever uh, suffered from asthma or any respiratory illnesses? Just curiously. Okay. No. Well, I said the lungs sound perfectly healthy. Um, just that you did mention that when you got to the top of the stairs you were breathing just uh, maybe a little bit harder than you would like. Um, but that could just be we both need a little bit more exercise. And it's something that even if, it's, if we try to make time for it, exercise can be uh, an evasive and elusive little mistress sometimes. But uh, yeah, that's absolutely fine. And again, no abnormalities. It was nothing unusual. Your heart sounded perfectly healthy and lungs too. Okay. 
if you do have any additional questions, if you're worried about any kind of uh, with your chest, especially your respiratory, um, you can come in and see us again. Yeah. No, it's, it's a common question and I think it's entirely valid, but uh, my professional opinion, no issues. All right. Good. Okay. Next, I would like to test your hearing. And this comprises of uh, me speaking very softly in each of the ears. Okay, there'll be four specific points. I'll be uh, repeating or asking you to repeat just a couple words to see how clear and uh, how easy it is for you to, to recite that. Okay, we'll start off uh, a fairly kind of medium level and then progress from there almost to the point it's um, inaudible. Okay, good. All right. You can just relax. Nothing to be afraid of here. There's nothing invasive in physical examination. Some people even find them quite close your eyes if you need to, but you should be able to hear the side I'm coming from. Okay, the first of four points. Road. 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 Okay. Very good. Very good. Fairly clear. Good. VCT six six eight. VCT six six eight. A little bit more complex, but the volume was the same. Good. Well done. We'll refer to back to point one. A little bit quieter this time. All right. Head, rack, head, rack, head, rack, head, rack. Good. Very good. Some of these words might have absolutely no meaning for you uh, in the real world. Even if you uh, aren't sure what they are, you're just literally repeating what you hear. Okay? They could be uh, nothing for all you know. bit harder this time. Okay. This is the second round of three. All right. The last two points are definitely the hardest.
Mm -hmm. All right. Well done. Now the third and final phase is difficult. Don't, if you can't recite any of these, don't leave my office today thinking that you have an issue with your hearing. Okay, because uh, if you're hearing round two fairly well enough, even the last two points, you'd be forgiven for not making that out perfectly clearly. In some cases, not even hearing it at all. But the third round is really just uh, an opportunity to flex, you know, to see how crystal clear our hearing really is. And given that almost all of us listen to extraordinarily and unnecessarily loud music almost every day, you'd be forgiven for hearing zero or four from the third round. All right. second. Okay. Point three. still. If you're a Bond fan or maybe an N64 fan, you might have had a clue of where I was going with that. your lot. How do you think you did? Uh-huh. I have seen people do far worse than that. Okay. No, you can give yourself a pat on the back. That isn't easy to do. Honestly, that isn't easy to do. Now, next, we'll be looking at the eyes. Okay, now all I need you to do here, okay, is just follow my finger. I'm using my index finger, start by looking straight ahead and keeping the head perfectly. your periphery vision. So what we're doing here is something similar, only you'll be telling me at what point my finger is leaving your periphery vision, okay, to the point that my finger becomes uh, invisible to you, to the point that you can no longer see it, 
Okay. Good. Again, you just want to focus on the index finger. Index finger. Looking right ahead. I focused on the finger. Okay. Now this time, keep your eyes locked straight ahead. Do not follow the finger for testing periphery vision. So just keep looking straight ahead. Walk straight ahead. And just let the finger drift out of your field of vision. And tell me when it disappears. There. Okay. Good. And again. Eyes straight ahead. Okay, good. Nothing untoward. Your vision uh, perfectly fine as far as reaction and uh, tracking. Now what I'd like you to do, close your eyelids quite tight, scrunch them a little bit, not uncomfortably so, but really just squeeze your eyes shut. I want you to hold like this until I tell you to open them. Now the light might be a touch bright when you open them, but all I'm going to be doing is measuring the refraction of the iris itself and the pupil. Open your eyes. Good. And squeeze them shut again, please. And open. Okay. All I was doing there was just measuring how your light is entering the eye and how your eye is reacting to the availability of light. It's contracting and retracting exactly as we'd expect it to. Okay. Nothing untoward. What I would like to do, eyes straight ahead, similar to the periphery vision. It's an extension. But in this time, instead of removing something from the vision, I want you to tell me how many fingers you see in your periphery vision. Okay? Again, eyes locked forward, not moving the eyes in this case. And just tell me how many fingers you think you see. Good. Okay, next I'm just going to 
Test your reflexes. We'll start with the reflex in your kneecaps. You might have seen this test a hundred times in movies. The doctor's essentially just hammering just to the side of the kneecap and there's a little response where the leg kicks out. Um, this is entirely involuntary but just striking forces uh, an automatic reaction. Again, uh, an involuntary response. I'm just testing that uh, this performs as it should. Just bear with me one second. Yeah, I don't need to hold your your legs, your chin leg up. Just uh, good, good. I just hold still. You with your knees. Just like to see your wrists, please. Good. Other wrist, please. Good. Sometimes you have a slightly delayed reaction in the wrist. But now your uh, reflexes are perfectly fine. No issue. And this little multi-tool is exactly what it says. If I uh, unscrew this end, there's a little bristle brush. And this is going to make up one of uh, three stages test the nerve endings and the face okay so on one end we have a flat smooth surface the other end we have a bristled brush now without even experiencing either sensation your body will be able to identify which is which this is mostly calling for memory and your motor nerves are carrying that signal to tell you what it is exactly that you're experiencing. So, eyes closed please. And we'll start just, I'm just placing this onto your forehead. Because I think this is the slightest indication. colors. Not that there was ever any doubt. We're almost finished with the multi-tool. This 
might look a little bit more sinister than it actually is. But there are tiny little teeth here. And it runs across the skin, like so. It uh, isn't going to pierce the skin. It won't even leave any kind of red mark. But you will be able to feel the leg. Okay. I'm going to run this across your skin and I want you to tell me when it's running and when it stops. Okay. I'm just going to roll your sleeve up here a little bit. Very, very well done. And replace. isn't uh, which one of us is stronger I'm sure you would win hands down but what I'd like you to do I'm going to place my palm onto yours and I'm going to try to push your fingers back I want you to make sure you don't let me push your hands back okay Just give me your hand Good. Again. Just push, push, push. Good. And the other hand, please. Push, push, push. Good. What's more? Push. Good. Okay. Next, I'd like you to arc your arm like so. And I'm going to attempt to pull your arm flat going to make sure you don't let me flatten your arm. So arms like this, and I'll pull one at a time. Okay, and fight, 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 fight. Good. And again. Other arm. Pull, 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 pull. Very well done. Very good. Now next. Little uh, get a grip ball. They actually sound quite relaxing. Have a listen.
nice soothing sound. What I'd like you to do is wrap your hands around and what I need you to do is squeeze and I want you to tell me on a scale of 1 to 10 how strong the contents felt to squeeze, how difficult it was to actually squeeze. Okay. Squeeze. Very well done. Again. Very well done. Other hand. This is your weaker arm. Did okay to me. Again. Struggled there a little bit. Okay. Good. Thank you. next little assessment is um, sense of taste. So all I'll be doing is extracting a flavored saline solution from here. All I'll be doing is just extracting less than five mils and it'll be dropped onto the tongue and you just have to tell me what flavor it is okay three very distinct flavors. Um, none of them should be unpleasant um, and we know that you're not allergic to any of the three. Second one, if you're going to find any of them uncomfortable it would be the next. But again, nothing um, untoward. you liked it and you're absolutely correct and a seat is hit or miss for everybody and third final it's a beautiful smell Well done. Okay, your sense of taste is entirely unimpeded, which is always good to know. Do you know, I had a cold once, and the cold was so bad that my taste buds, my ability to taste entirely was lost to me. And for the first time in my life, I was actually able to enjoy, or not enjoy, but to eat any vegetable I liked because I literally couldn't taste the flavor. The most bizarre sensation, I was ordering broccoli soup because broccoli is extraordinarily good for you. And I can't stop. 
but it was it was tasteless to me. I could feel the texture of the soup, but I couldn't taste anything. Best thing that probably ever happened to me as far as dietary restrictions and requirements go. Yes. Okay. Now, we actually have uh, six little tubes. We use three for tasting and three for smelling. All six can be used for vice versa. The three I picked for tasting, I'll use the opposite three for smelling. I'm just going to hold this under your nose. I just... Yes. Well done. taste really everyone always tells me I should do that after I give them it to smell it was an oversight I'm sorry yes Nutella now that's only the flavor of Nutella because a lot of our patients are uh, allergic to nuts so we can't actually use Nutella it's something that smells very similar to it as you clearly identified yeah no you have uh, absolutely no issues your sense of smell sense of taste your eyesight uh, retract, your pupils retract expand as we'd expect um, you're hearing perfectly within the realms of uh, what we call acceptable Really, I can give you a clean bill of health, no issues. There is one final question. I recited to you three names at the beginning of our little discussion. What were those three names? I'll give you some time to think while I tidy away my workstation. Take a minute to think and I'll come back for your question and also for your answer. <laughs> no cheating. I cannot be bribed. Well, it depends what you're offering. I'm partial to a wench of uh, Stilton. nobody remembers those and I've noticed it doesn't matter which names I choose uh, it's just at the end of a fairly demanding albeit maybe not physically but um, our mind is elsewhere and when we take our minds to too many different places it forgets where it came from originally but not you it seems well done give you a clean bill of health. What I would recommend, as if you were um, looking to get your eyes tested for uh, 2020 vision, or if you needed a prescription, please do come back and see us and um, have a little word with reception as you go to leave today, and our optician will be more than happy to see you. Okay. Yes. Absolutely. 
sincere pleasure. And again, I applaud you for taking the time to consider your health. Far too often we are reactive. We get sick, we go for treatment, we're reacting to the illness, to the ailment. Prevention is always better than cure. Um, so if we can get early detection on anything, anything at all, actually, uh, not only is it cheaper for us, and let's be real, that's a consideration, not only is it cheaper, but it's better for you because it's more comprehensive. Okay. As it turns out, no issues, nothing to react to today. Okay. But thank you for coming in. I know it eats into uh, your free time, but it's for the benefit and uh, betterment.